Yeah, so I'm running Windows 10 on the iPad Pro with the keyboard and mouse. Well, sort of. With the release of iPad OS, Apple made both wired and Bluetooth mice compatible with the operating system, but not in the traditional sense like you're thinking. It doesn't work like a regular cursor, instead working more like a finger being used across the screen, which is why it's hidden under accessibility. And that's exactly what Apple wants. Even still, that got me really thinking, is there any way to get Windows onto my iPad Pro and really put the A12X Bionic chip to the test? Well, the short answer is no. But the next best thing is virtualization. Now it's been several years since I've used any kind of virtualization software, and from what I remember, it's a little bit buggy and kind of slow to use. So I did some research, and from what I could find, the best virtualization software to get my Windows desktop onto the iPad Pro was Parallels Access. What I really wanted to test was both mouse and keyboard compatibility while I'm doing the virtualization. So it was super simple to set up. I just went to the Parallels website, downloaded it onto my PC, installed it, signed up, downloaded the app onto the iPad Pro, and you're pretty much good to go. Obviously, the first thing I wanted to try was gaming with a mouse and keyboard. I booted up Overwatch, but sadly, it was pretty much unplayable. The keyboard, for some reason, doesn't work or register while in the game, and the mouse is still in adaptive touch mode, so it won't work how you expect. The Parallels app does have a game mode where it displays some thumbsticks and buttons onto the screen, but you can't really play like this, especially a first-person shooter. I played around with all the settings forever and I couldn't get anything to make it any more playable or work. On the plus side, when doing normal computery things, Parallel works pretty well. As you can see, there's a tiny delay when clicking or typing, but nothing major. Not like when I was trying to play Overwatch where there's a really significant delay between any button presses or movements. So the app is really useful if you need to access your computer while you're away from home. I know for myself, sometimes I need to update my Plex library or get files from my desktop emailed to myself while I'm away. And for that, this is great. I found that when I turned it to high quality mode though, the image quality improved greatly, but it introduced too much delay between inputs. So I'd rather keep this off. And that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a quick little video looking at Windows virtualization software on the iPad Pro and how well it works. Now it definitely has its drawbacks and it's not for most people I would think, but there are some specific use case scenarios out there. As long as there are Apple products, there are gonna be people trying to put Windows onto them. I hope that in the final release version of iPad OS, Apple will introduce some better mouse functionality, but I wouldn't hold my breath. That's it for me. Bite that subscribe button and leave a comment below if you want to see anything else.